Hello, and welcome to the Mobius Archives. This is your host, Mobius Rex, and we are playing Minecraft Refugee to Region Challenge on the Infinity Mod Pack with a few mods. Yay! So with this update, and happy Valentine's Day, uh, with this update, uh, I've gone ahead and, whoa, chunk glitch, uh, I've gone ahead and updated my, uh, my game to the Infinity Mod. Uh, I haven't brought over the configurations. I pretty much just brought over the mods. I'll bring over the configurations shortly. I just like to have a few uh, extra mods to everything. Oh, and if you notice in the upper right hand corner, I do have this nifty uh, journey map mod still activated. I haven't quite decided whether I want to keep it or not. Uh, I'm going to leave it up for now. Actually, I'm going to adjust some settings. Give me a second. And that icon in the upper right hand corner, that map in the upper right hand corner is not journey map. I'm not entirely sure which mod added that. I'll have to get rid of that later. Journey map is actually quite nice. It actually gives you the color of the surrounding terrain instead of making everything gray. Um, there we are, there's us. Um, there's our mining outlier. You can see, you can really see a lot of the um, generation border cliffs um, quite distinctly in here. Our air outlier, our increasing sized um, taint area. I've promised to make a, a new taint video, a taint experiment video later. Um, and here's our uh, tree outlier, the... Uh, Thermal expansion outlier all the way out there. And you can see I have something of a road going between them. I need to light up that road, um, get some torches and whatnot going back and forth from these places. And get those expanded. But today, today is the Valentine's build episode. Um, I'm out here because this is kind of a neglected part of town and I'd like to uh, flush it out a bit. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something um, a bit different. I'm going to build Madame Puttyfoot's tea shop. Um, the idea about this, if you guys know, it's from Harry Potter. It's where uh, Cho Chang ambushed uh, Harry, trying to get him to talk about Cedric, etc., etc. Spoilers, sorry. Uh, if you don't haven't read Harry Potter, it's a more than a decade old book now. I guess fifteen years, twenty years, twenty? No, not twenty years. Oh, hey. Steal the talk. Cool. Uh, that just got bummed up. But anyways, um, it's part of what I think of as my childhood, or at least younger years, if not childhood. Or originally came out then. Um, not sure about book. What was that for? I'm not sure. Anywho, um, maybe it was five. Book five. Yeah, sounds right. Um, anyway, Madame Puttyfoot's was kind of a c tiny, cramped tea shop. So that's kind of the, uh, idea we're going here. No more than a few tables. Or, no more than half a dozen tables, I'm thinking. Um, and it should be small and cramped. Maybe not that cramped. Maybe we'll bump it out a few blocks. Um, let you know. I'm gonna build this... and get this started off-camera. And, uh, see what we get up to and try to figure out what mod's giving us that, uh, mini-map there. Be back in a few. Our town actually looks kind of pretty at night when the lighting's set to moody. Alright, although that's kind of terrifying hospital at night. <laughs> Alright, so I've done the outside of this front part of Met. Nice and dark up there. Uh, done the front side the, of Madame Puttyfoot's. You can see here. Inside, not much of anything. Uh, just did up the flooring a bit. Um, use chisel to uh, change these uh, spruce planks into these pattern planks. The parquet and uh, what's these? Spruce wood planks in disarray. Built a little bit of a fireplace here. Um, definitely need to do something about these up here. Um, so why don't we take care of that? What I found is in, um, if we take a look at DecoCraft, we have a, oops, sorry, actually had it there. 
chandeliers. So we have a few chandeliers. So extra utility chandeliers, great. Takes up a diamond. But these, these are interesting. We have red Clafton clay. Let's just find out where the patterns were. Red crafting clay, blue, and some green. There we go. Iron chandelier. Uh, let's take a look at the other, these under, other ones as well. Gold. And crystal. There we go. The deco craft actually gives us a lot of nice 3D model chandeliers. I want to take a look at that uh, before we consider it anything else. So first off, We'll put it in the center here. Oh, that's not bad. Actually, that's not even the center. That's iron. Um, you. Your gold. And that takes care of our lighting problems up top, too. Those are nice. And crystal. I think that's over the top. Um, I think... Maybe I'll just keep the iron and gold. I won't even make them match. Um, that's my cat. Uh, be right back. Put up that uh, crystal chandelier in someone's house. Um, but definitely now we need to put up uh, um, some tables and whatnot. Uh, I just want to point up, out up here. Micro blocks are amazing. We can add this little capped chimney. The cap it on the chimney prevents rain from getting into a fire. Um, it's just decoration. It's not actually practical right now. But I thought it looks neat. Usually there's a metal cap. Probably could have done that um, if I had an iron block on me, but I did not. So how much light do these produce? Probably not enough to get everywhere. But that's okay. All right, so what I'm thinking of is to use bibliocraft tables. Um, yeah, bibliocraft style table, so oak table or any of these other ones we can use. Uh, spruce, definitely, but I think spruce might be too dark. Let's just see the pattern that we need. Just like that. So for a single table, let's see what we've got. Well, let me turn the lighting up. Typically, I have the lighting cranked just for YouTube. But, um, let's see, so right by the window. No, I feel like that's too dark. Let's try a different, uh, different material here. Go full putty foot style and use eucalyptus, which gives us a nice pink table. Not convinced on that one. Alright, so we have, that's eucalyptus. We have an oak table. That's the spruce, and it's definitely too much the same color. Dark oak? Not really, not really feeling it. And the birch table. I think the birch is too bright. I mean, I'm using birch up here. Might be okay. Let's go for the oak. Boring old oak. So, spruce birch, dark oak, and oak. Yeah, let's go for the oak tables. I think they are the ones that make me happiest with all this. There's also cherry, but I'm a bit short on cherry wood. Cherry doesn't look too bad either. It is quite red, which kind of fits, kind of doesn't. No, I'm going to go for oak right now. Uh, if we want to change this up, we can later. All right. Well, I had to do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of getting around the strict construction rules I normally live by. Um, because there's these wool couches from custom NPCs. These wool couches, they don't have any recipes, so I had to go into, what is it, cheat mode? Yeah, cheat mode, just to get them. And they actually look kind of nice, but I don't really have, I don't have the feeling of this being crowded, of this being um, kind of a tight, crowded uh, little, um, little place. So I'm going to uh, redo this. It feels too organized. I think that's, that's it. Um, I think maybe adding a little bit of disarray will help. Um, 
it actually feels more like one of those casual lounges because you have enough room between these tables to go ahead and maybe there's too many tables here. Um, I'm not sure. It just isn't the right feeling um, for the inside. Uh, but while we're here, we'll put up a few torches just to give us a little bit more light. I turned it back to Moody just to see what it would look like there. Um, back here, I kind of want to get started with making a little bit of a counter system. And we have some slabs now. And from those slabs, panels. Panels always feel really good um, when I'm making up a counter. Um, so you would, this would be basically the serving counter. And I only want it to be, maybe I'll put a, another room behind here with like a kitchen or something like that. Um, and maybe, you know, with like the, maybe having a, a serving slot back here where the kitchen's back there, they drop the food, whatnot. Um, really depends if I go all out and make this a kitchen or not. And you, yeah. Even that little bit with this uh, counter here, I want not pillar. Split you. Yeah, post. Post seems good. More posts. Maybe like that, and maybe every few. Yeah, like that. And then we have a little bit of a counter here that uh, we could put orders on, and people can pick up their stuff and pay. All right, well, we have, there's one thing I discovered. So custom F NPCs, let me actually grab all these seats. Um, custom NPCs, I actually, oh, I need more sticks. Um, so for these couches that I was using, you actually can um, make these. So there is a carpentry bench. This one, uh, which is just planks, a couple sticks, and a crafting table. So let's make one of those up. <sighs> Dab you, Natura. Uh, sometimes recipes don't work if you're using Natura materials because they don't have or dictionary uh, names. I guess I'll make it out of dark oak wood. Table. These, those weren't even proper sticks just oak there we go so coverage and branch from custom npcs and i didn't realize take a look at this you can well a you can make a wooden gun which is kind of funny um but you can make a lot of those recipes that i said you couldn't make um so you could take a look uh there's these chairs and different types of chairs um but these Wool couches. I just don't have that much wool on me right now. <laughs> so I'm not even going to bother with uh, putting these couches out. Uh, I do have uh, a good amount of wool to make a whole bunch of oak seats. Um, that'll give us half a dozen right now. Um, there it is. Uh, I want full 22. I counted them. 22 seats. I don't know that we have enough here. Oh, there we go. 22 seats. And I'm just going to scatter these about... Oh, no. You have to remember, if you're using BibliCraft, it's the direction that you're placing it down that matters when you're setting up the seat backs. So for the seats, you kind of want to be standing on whatever table, wherever you want the chair to be facing, rather. And place them down like this. It'll give you a nice amount of chairs. I reduced the number of tables by a little um, and scattered them about a bit more. It's a bit more, um, it does feel a bit more cramped, at least in the test that I did. Didn't use the final, like even with, like even that weaving around makes this place feel a lot more cramped than it used to. Uh, I'm just going to add a couple more torches here torches scattered around just so that uh, you guys can see uh, see a little bit more. Go. And I do have this up. 
No, I still have it on Moody. Why? There you go. Back to game. Uh, really bright right now, but, um, it does feel a bit more cramped walking through here. So we're going to fo follow along with that. Uh, let's get some seat backs. I think we're just going to do this simple one here. And it's just sticks and some oak wood slabs. I'm running short on oak wood slabs. All right, let's take a look at what these look like. Let's place these down. This. There we go. A few more. Leave that one out for now. So we're missing a table here, and we're missing two tables here, but you can see how it's starting to uh, take shape. Uh, it's going to get those chair backs in. There we go. Nice. A little bit better. Now we do have some of uh, this red wool here. Oh, I just think I need a little bit of this carpet. So what you do is you apparently place it under there. Didn't know you could do that, but it's actually on these that I want to uh, set up some oops, nice red chairs. And yes, you can sit on these chairs yourself. There we go. Yeah, that's starting to look nice for this cafe. Well, let's just do a little bit of embellishment underneath all these tables. I do like that look, actually. Don't really need it. But... Breaks up the, uh... Oh, I had perfect amount. That's funny. It does break up the eyes a bit. Break up the, uh, the pattern. Maybe there's actually a, a plate under each of these tables. I don't know. But that looks good. We could put um, a tablecloth on each of these, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, there's other stuff that we can do. This is a tea shop, so why don't we take a look at our tea. Our tea options here. There is... There should be... Tea cup. We have a tea set from Deco Craft. So, couple of those, couple of those. Let's see how these work. Or can they even work? Can I just... <laughs> Not quite what I meant. There we go, tea set there. We have a full tea set here. Maybe this one has a tea cup in the center. No, I don't think so. Take that light. But just a teacup there. Too bad it doesn't can't be placed offset like here. Like that. And that's just Yeah, because it has a, such a small hitbox, you'd expect to be able to place like in the corner somewhere, but no. Alright, we'll place We'll place one just on that table here, but yeah. We could have a few more tea sets scattered about here. Give the impression that it is a tea shop. Uh, an active tea shop. There we are. That's actually the last of our uh, red crafting clay. So we could just put these on a couple more of these places. Uh, maybe put one back here. One ready to go out. And I put a couple more tea. Uh, because I mistakenly put them there. There we go. So now when you're coming through, you see a couple tea, a couple cups of tea, a little bit of uh, a few tea sets. That's not bad. All right. Uh, and while we're doing this, there is still a couple things. So I did build this carpentry bench and there was one recipe that I liked. Um, or I liked the look of. There was... There it is. The lamp. So it's just glass, some iron ingots, and a torch. Not too bad bad. Um, we have some iron. Doubt it'll be able to use that glass, but we'll try. It does have to be made in here. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. Glass. And a torch. Oh, it does work. Okay, good. We'll get a few of those, and then we could take the torches off the wall. Oh, and I guess it doesn't keep inventory. Interesting. All right, so... Just take 
here, here, remove these, there we go. And I think there you have it, a nice Valentine's Day tea shop, a little bit of tea, I'm going to turn the lighting down to moody again, because we can't really get that moody feeling um, with brightness on high. Well. For you and yours, enjoy your Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Have a good day. And a wonderful night. Bye-bye.